For anyone curious about my time away in Canada, I've put together a vaguely chronological compilation of the footage, with hopefully some helpful contextual commentary along the way. It just comes in at about half an hour long, so I hope you enjoy. So this was the ranch, it was 160 acres. Uh, I absolutely loved getting out there and exploring. As you can see, some of the water is still frozen over because it was high up. Um, the bottom gate was as high as Ben Nevis is. So this was a buffalo ranch in British Columbia on the west coast of Canada, but still a substantial way inland away from Vancouver. So definitely more of a rural place and uh, there were mountains absolutely everywhere. Hello, Piper. Hello. And they had, I think, uh, seven dogs in total. I absolutely loved it. Hello, dogs. <laughs> was on top of a mountain surrounded by other mountains Hello. and then they've got their deck and Hello. you could just sit out <laughs> Piper, <laughs> Piper was uh, going for the bird food there no 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 Tucker's got a ball that was their front yard it was just so immediate the nature around us uh, and then the dogs would be let out to play and Tucker would be very enthusiastic about his ball. <laughs> and uh, that's right, Raven, she's actually half coyote. What have you got there, Hunter? That was Tucker, he was an absolute sweetheart. Um, he would never, never get bored of being fussed. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh. Oh. oh dear. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I know. down in the valley, Nicola Lake. It was huge. Um, it was really, really long as well. It kind of stretched around a mountain range entirely. And this is when Danica took us out to actually explore some of the buildings. Um, something that really surprised me is a lot of them were really sort of old school Western. Definitely a reminder that it's a frontier place. like an old gas station out there. It was uh, something I'd not seen before. Tell me if I'm doing the right pose. There's a nest. There they are, see? Just on top. Can you hear the baby? slope that goes down from the house and they had all these beautiful little creeks and streams and I couldn't get enough of it. A lot of this, it was, it was very sort of sunny on this day, but um, you can see big patches of snow as well, which is not something I was used to. That was a, uh, the remains of a, a buffalo 
Um, and we actually went up to the house, I think, a couple of days later and asked about it. And um, one of our hosts knew the exact story behind it, like what happened. I think it had got an infection on its side and it had passed away and the uh, coyotes had actually dragged it down the bank. pretty pleased about the view I'm immersed in <laughs> yeah it was really beautiful and the weather as well was so versatile because this was like a really sunny day but uh, you'll see in a minute it does change pretty quick I brought along a Bluetooth speaker and uh, blasted some of my favorite tunes <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's Raven again. All of the dogs were so brilliant. They enjoyed uh, a good fuss. And that's Hunter, the shepherd. I'll certainly be missing them, that's for sure. A lot of the work we did was um, wood clearance, and this was a multi-purpose kind of job. We took the bottom branches off a lot of the trees so that the wildfires couldn't spread up them so easily. And this would also clear the uh, land for more grass growth, and that would be good for the buffalo. More food. Ah, here they are. It was so amazing because the buffalo were just kind of loose on the ranch and they'd come in right in between the houses and roam across in their little herd. They had these bowls placed around as well so that when you had dinner, you could see all the buffalo come up, enjoy their beer mash or straw. I could never get bored of this mountain view as well behind, um, it was something I kept, <laughs> I just kept sitting out on the deck and gazing at it. Tucker had to say hello once again. Hello Tucker. Hello boy all. Hello. Both Raven and Seller would kind of howl joyously at you. Hello. Hello. How are we doing? Oh, yes. Every time they were let out to play, we had to kind of usher them back inside again. <laughs> In the house. In the house. Come on. Well, that worked. <laughs> In the house. In the house. Get in the house. Come here, Hunter. <laughs> Good boy. Good in boy. Thanks, Jack. So this is another day I went out exploring. And as you can see, the snow start to come down. I'm just jumping across the thicket here and um, delving into the forest a little bit. This was yet another creek that I found. Um, the water was so clear as well. It was probably from a mountain spring or coming right off the waters or snow from the mountain. You dunk your hand in that and come out pretty cold. Had these awesome evergreen trees and then 
rocks kind of jutting out as well in a variety of different places. You can see a lot of the soil here is a, a red color and that's because it was so dry up there. Um, they said it was a distinguished kind of atmosphere from the coast um, because nothing would rot. Uh, it was really dry in comparison. And so a lot of the wood just kind of disintegrated and that's where the red color is coming from. And that's one of those big rocks I was talking about. Just kind of jut out of the landscape. I think that's some buffalo fur that I noticed. Probably they'd have been rubbing themselves against the wood for a good scratch. They never complained about um, needing to get uh, firewood, that's for sure. <laughs> So we had a few fire pit evenings and um, we'd all sit around and chat and have a few drinks. I managed to have a really good conversation with Bernie about the history of the ranch and why he called it what he did. Originally they wanted to do a snowmobile ranch, but uh, it turned out to be buffalo. They're such a self-sustaining animal as well. They can just be left alone to roam around. The ranch name itself was inspired by Pentangle a prevalent folk band during the 60s and 70s. As a result, I greatly enjoyed listening to some of their albums. In particular, their song Light Flight seemed to perfectly fit the feeling of being there. And when did you originally come up with the name, the Pentangle? Pentangle? Yeah. You were just inspired by that folk band at oh, a yeah. certain time I mean, of your life. If you look at ranch names, it's the Lazy S, or the Broken Bar, or yeah, there's all sorts of weird names. <coughs> Um, but nobody has a, a pentacle.
days ago, this was all sunshine, babbling brooks, and one day, earlier in May, I wake up and they look out the window and they say, oh, it's just a snowstorm. In town, this was rain. Mental. The snow was just incredible. I couldn't wrap my head around how it swept in and completely transformed the landscape like it did. And it was even more amazing when the snow clouds cleared because you could barely see in front of you when the clouds were actually on the mountain and then they all just dispersed and you had this uh, amazing view of the mountains just white just tipped with white around you <laughs> that is brilliant. Yeah, you can tell we're not used to this at all. Yeah. Landers will rent and will roar on deck and below until we strike bottom inside. <laughs> <laughs> that looks pretty fun. <laughs> I'm a son of a sea cook. I'm a cook and a trader. I can dance, I can sing, I can reef the main boom. You're right. I can handle a jigger, I cut a fine figure. Whenever I get in a boat standing room, we'll rant and we'll roar like true Newfoundlanders. We'll rant and we'll roar on deck and below until we strike bottom inside the two sunkers. We're straight through the channel to Toslo. We'll go. getting out there with all of the other workaways and just having a, a lark in the snow. This all melted the very next day, so we certainly couldn't have done this the next evening. And we just like decided to have a break and jump out there. This soppy animal couldn't get enough. Look at those eyes, he's like a Disney character. <laughs> this
this was outside of Bernie and Isabel's house. They had this beautiful um, buffalo mold. And uh, that's their garden as well with an equally amazing view. And that's where we did a, a lot of the fire pit evenings. Just walking down the road here and of course the dogs are out playing again. The two houses were relatively close together as well, but uh, during the night we'd still have to take the cars across to the other house if we wanted to play board games and stuff uh, because all the buffalo would be resting and we didn't want to uh, walk about in the dark with them protecting their calves and everything. Off you go. Off you go. Bear and uh, Hunter would often decide that they loved the same ball and would just sit there with half of it in their mouths, wrestling over it. Hunter. Come on, Hunter. Play's over. Come on. Inside. <laughs> the premises itself was so amazing. They set it up and just... It was like a utopia for me. It had dog beds everywhere and uh, such a cozy home, you know, um, with spectacular views just outside of every single window. And that was their deck out there as well that I was talking about. Um, the kitchen was great. They fed us so well. <laughs> Very generous. Lots of Lots of pancakes and maple syrup. So they had their barbecue and they had this amazing kitchen view as well. We had a <laughs> we had a running gag with them being uh, distracted by TikTok. <laughs> hello. Hello. Lisa. Yes, say hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It was really cool to speak to people from other countries as well. Those, uh, Elisa and Yvonne were from um, Holland. And that was where I slept. Really cozy, comfortable. Couldn't ever complain. Thanks to Yvonne for this footage. A tree. See where there's a dead tree here? Oh, oh the bears my are God. Just running <gasps> up the tree higher. Oh, my, yeah, I see them. one at the very, very top. Oh. Holy shit. Holy oh, yes. shit. Here. Are you to the right or left? Here comes mummy. So at what point did the alcohol? Oh, I see the tins. Yeah. And I marinate them. Oh. I pour it instead of <laughs> like basting them. Yeah. I pour the can right over it. So this trip was everything I'd hoped it would be, and it was a very special time. It reminded me that life is finite, and uh, there's a lot of joy to be had. Just what I put all your faith and how will it grow? Gonna rise up, bring back holes and dark memories. Gonna rise up, turn mistakes into
Good boy. Huge thank you to Ken, Danica, Bernie, Isabel. It is not an experience I'll forget. It was lovely to meet the other workaways as well. Lisa, Yvonne, Lucas, Annika, and although he was there for a shorter time, definitely Nicholas as well. I'll miss you too. I'll miss you too. Bye.